Hello, welcome back. Um, in this video, we're going to go over another application of differentiation, which is called the first derivative test for a given piecewise function. First, we're going to find the critical numbers for this function, and we're going to find the open intervals on which the function is increasing or decreasing by applying the test for increasing, decreasing functions. And in the last step, we're going to apply the first derivative test to identify the relative extrema. And I just want to remind you about the first derivative test. We're going to start with a critical number that is uh, from the part A of the question. We're going to find all the critical points. And if we have the continuity and differentiability at the critical point uh, and an interval containing that, um, we can classify f of c as either relative minimum or relative maximum or neither. So in other words, we're going to look at the sign of f prime on the left and the right of uh, the critical point. So if it is negative on the left and positive on the right, then we're going to have a relative minimum, like in this case, negative, positive, so we have a minimum. And if we have positive on the left and negative on the right, we should have a relative maximum value of the function. And if the function f prime doesn't change its sign on the left or right, either keeps being positive or negative, then the conclusion is that we do not have a relative maximum or minimum. And for this purpose, we're going to find f prime uh, because critical numbers are the numbers that make f prime zero or undefined. All right, to check the differentiability at point one, we can just readily differentiate f prime and then find the left piece to be four, which is the derivative of the left piece here. And the right piece for f prime is two x, that's the derivative of x squared minus three. And as you see, f prime is nice whenever x is not equal to one. So the question is like, what's going on at x equals one? Well, we can check the limit definition of uh, the derivative uh, at the point x equals one. We check the left and right limits for these quotients. Okay, so here is one, okay? And, and this is a good exercise for you. Why don't you like punch in, uh, why don't you put in uh, the left piece here because we're approaching one from the left and also put f1, which is in fact six, and then calculate this limit and do the same thing for this limit, uh, the, the right-hand limit, okay? And this is a good exercise for you. And you should get uh, this limit to be exactly equal to four and the right limit to be exactly equal to two. You see that they are not equal. So that means f prime is not defined at uh, the point x equals one, in other words, f is not differentiable at x equals one. Well, this is a good candidate for uh, the critical number, right? Because that makes one a critical number. Well, the question is like, are there any other uh, critical numbers? Well, we should probably set f prime to zero and check if there's any x that makes f prime zero. Well, for this piece, there's no way because it's just constant, right? And for this piece, there's only x equals zero that makes this 2x zero, but x equals zero is not here, right? Because this piece is valid for x is bigger than one, okay? So in other words, there's no other critical numbers because there's no solution of this equation. So this takes care of part A, but before we jump into part B, we should also uh, check the continuity of f at, at, at the point one. Well, well, for each piece, first off, for each piece, this function is continuous because they are polynomials. So the only problem point is x equals one. We check the left limit and the right limit for the function to check the continuity, right? So the left limit is going to be what? Six for this one because when you plug in one, it's just six. And the right limit is what? Uh, one squared minus three, negative two. Well, well uh, the, the continuity is violated at, 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 at x equals one because left limit is not equal to the right limit. In fact, the limit of the function at point x equals one doesn't exist. That violates the continuity. So this function is not continuous at x equals one or at the critical number. All right, here is the only critical number one. So that, that, that makes us having two subintervals. One of them is negative infinity and one. The other one is one and infinity. And I chose my sample points to be zero and two. 
for each sub interval. And you can check the sine of f prime at zero. Okay, by just calculating f prime at zero and um, f prime at uh, two. F prime at zero is four and f prime at two is going to be four two. So, so essentially both values are four and the, the conclusion here is that f is increasing on the interval negative infinity and one as well, f is increasing on the interval one and infinity. So f keeps increasing normally when you apply the test for increasing decreasing functions. Um, we, should have the, we should have had the continuity, but we don't. So going back to the first derivative test, uh, we have the increasing behavior not changing at the junction point, but we still have a relative maximum here. And I'll show you why from the graph of the function. So here is the graph of the function. As you see, the junction point is a problem point because we have a jump discontinuity. And at, at, at x equals one, the function value is six. And here there's a hole, okay? So as you see that in the neighborhood of the junction point, which is x equals one, f takes this maximum value. Okay, so for that reason, our conclusion for this problem is that we have a relative maximum at point x equals 1. Well, the reason why we couldn't apply the first derivative test is because we wanted to have a continuity at this junction point or critical number. Well, we don't have that. So, but even though we couldn't have it, we still have a relative maximum. In fact, I can go back to my table and then put here that I do have a relative maximum value at x equals 1. All right, this is the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.